a fact, I haven't seen that fairy. We all look at each other like, <gasps> shit. Ah! All right, let's roll initiative. Hey, 20. <laughs> I, got, I got a 20, guys. 21. I'm using these. In total? Yeah, let's get a one. Yeah. <laughs> it's initiative. But it's yeah. It's yeah. A no, wait. Still, then just... Ah, it's 18. How do you mix up a 20 and an 18? 18 in total. Huh? Okay. Yes, 18 in total. Torque? One. Plus? Two. <laughs> Welcome. Five. Let's get those bad rolls out of the way early. Yep. 20. But if yeah. I add my initiative, it's 24. Well, Laura, you are first. I think. Well, you should pick up the spirit point and see I don't want to go in there. What if I walk in there and another scarecrow falls? You should pick up the spirit and point it yeah, out. Yeah, you go first. All right, but I go last. Well, you should have rolled better. Initiative is important. Um, <laughs> this is my, initiative is always screwed me. This I'm is only like at, one of those I'm at super nine hot situations. Health. Nine. Okay. Nine health. I'm low. I'm low like you guys were before. How'd your health get so low? I got hit a lot. The ceiling fell on him. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. I got hurt in the fight and then it got crushed. Who walked in a room? Crushed. You walked in a room. You, you, Tork. And he's fine. Almost a full hit point. Yep. See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What is everyone's hit points? I am 30. I am 32. 36. I am max at 25. 32? Yes. What's your? My max is 35. Huh. Uh, my, my max is 36. Huh. I thought I used that highest. I'm at 31 my max. <laughs> All right. Um, so what's, drew it. what's happening Jesus, lower? Man. I don't know. I don't want to. I want to heal. Let's use my bomb, which I believe is a bonus action. And I'm going to. Bomb? Yeah. Bomb. Oh, it's a bomb. Like bomb garden. You have a bomb this whole time. Bomb of bomb. the summer court. Bomb. Seven plus five. 12. So the moon there. All right. So this connects Owl bear. to this. Yeah. There's some water running and there's stairs over here. Let's go down. down. Let's just way. run. Just shut the door and leave. I cool. shut the door. <laughs> Don't you want to move, move up to the door? <laughs> Can I get through to the door? I don't know. Said it's an Owl they bear brought it in pieces. Exceptional. Wasn't time. it hard to open too? Um, it was a bronze door. Copper. Hammered copper door. Did it yep. take a strength check to open? It did. Yeah, it's a tough door. Yeah, the seal has been broken. Yeah. Oh. I'm just going to ready like a thorn whip or something. I'm not going to go in the room because I'm, I'm worried there's going to be like a... Like, like a ceiling like, collapse? Like, no, like... A, <laughs> like, like the outer I'm, worried, I'm worried every time you walk in, a scarecrow drops and we got to do some kind of like spear picky-uppy thing. I don't yeah, just, but... If one if, of us if another there. scarecrow drops, it's yeah. not like the it'll come become a more alive, you know. Yeah, but then we have to leave two of us in there. <laughs> like you, you gonna leave me in there? <laughs> <laughs> we can't set the scarecrow back up. But should I attack it? What if it's not mad? I don't know. Mash is bad. Try to commune look around with for it. some eggs or something. Yeah, I'll just. Maybe it will if, raise herself an owlbear. What if I bow? Can I try to communicate with it? Yeah. Or, you want to bow creature? out in the hallway? Can I, is it a creature? Uh, roll nature. Four plus five is nine. Uh, well, so it certainly, at least once, was a natural beast. And it's magical stuffness now. They brought it in pieces. Maybe it's weak to fire. Like maybe it's like taxiderm. Like a bunch of like flamodehyde in it? Well, I don't, is that what's in? I thought it was like they're stuffed, right? Yeah, they're stuffed. With like stuffing that's flammable. Yeah. You burn it. I mean, it's not always flammable. Sometimes it's non-flammable and used with <laughs> recycled materials. <laughs> this is seriously this is not. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just make it stronger. <laughs> Flame retardant. Yeah. Um, we need to let's tame it. Let's have a stuffed. I don't know. That's gonna tame work out. Owlbear. I mean, I'll move up to the door, I guess. Okay. And. Uh, Put your vine whip around me in case the thing that I try doesn't work and you can fucking whip me out. <laughs> can I do that? I don't will know. Will he take damage though? It's called thorn whip. I don't know if it will damage you automatically or not. It's got thorns on it. It does have thorns. I... Will it do less damage than the giant bear? <laughs> Probably. It's only like a D6 <laughs> plus four. And it can pull. How far? Um, thorn whip will pull 10 feet closer to me. Okay, well that's enough. I mean, if he's doing it to get him out the door, into a way not to hurt me, he do it like around like a pauldron or something. This that works. With the close that cursed door. 
Uh, yeah, he can do that. But if he rolls low enough, it'll still hurt you. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, that can be your ready action. So you mean a ready to? Yeah. How about if I ready my thorn whip, and I'll either attack the bear if I need to, or pull you out of there. Is that ready? That's like that way, I get it ready, and I'm yeah. uh, torque. Yeah. All right. It is Thane's turn. <clears throat> can I get a ready action too? Maybe sure. like look around for something to, to block the door or something. Uh, if look it at these. Work out. I'm like, it's not here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe try to like figure out a way to block the door <coughs> if this doesn't work out. Uh, well, the easiest things to move would be those walls over there. Mm-hmm. There's the a bunch easiest. of rubble in this room. I ain't going there. We should go in there. <laughs> There's there statues there. over here. Which Is there anything else about rubble in there? To move. Huh? Is there anything else in there about rubble? There's a corpse of the previous guy. Yeah, you can go check it out. Last time I fucking went anywhere. The well, the big to be fair, you can you have safe checks that you always win, <laughs> right? He yes. always succeeds, but you can still take half damage on a save. Oh, okay. I believe that's what I did. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And I ended up at nine health. Mm. It did a lot. I mean, I can't imagine the the ceiling can collapse three times. It collapsed twice. <laughs> <laughs> can I get in a ready position, like with, just with my great sword? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So if it comes within range, you strike it. Yeah. Okay. It is the owl's turn. Shane, you are way back there. It's not coming in range back there. You just never know. <laughs> All right. Rawr. I used to run to the front. All those other uh... He's trying to communicate. No, it's 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 gonna strike. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pull Torque ten feet now since he uses move action? Yeah. And then I'll pull him ten feet away, and hopefully you're out of range. Yeah. To strike. When we do that, okay. it's bound to be less damage, even if I do damage to you, than what he So Torque is like, oh, it's so can Yay! Does he speak common, Rick? <laughs> what? The owl? Huh? Yeah. The owlbear. You'd have to try. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Most owlbears do not. You've encountered owlbears before. But some might. So, uh, I mean, anything could be, like, <laughs> magically gifted intelligence, but... She's unlikely. A natural one could not. Gotcha. So I'm going to. But he was once natural, but now he's not, right? I'm going to attempt to pull torque this way. Right? All right. Okay. Twenty. Hey, you pull him. Yeah. Additional five feet. Oh, oh, right. Do I do any damage or anything to him nope. or no? Okay. Okay. No damage. Man, that was amazing. That was like Indiana Jones. <laughs> it's like I'm your hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the bear goes to the door, and it looks like. It's gonna have trouble fitting through the frame, mm. so it like goes to charge at it. Okay. Everyone back. <laughs> we can try that one. It bursts through the frame, the frame, um, but it stops. Okay. So it's like right there. Okay. We're like, this is destroyed. Is it? Like yeah. I said, the yeah, frame yeah. is destroyed. Yeah, it's, it's destroyed. Okay, Vulcan. Um, Ow! <laughs> yeah, I I think I'm gonna bow. All right, Torque. Torque. Seeing Vulcan bow, seeing the giant owlbear <laughs> coming at the thing, as he's getting whipped back, tries to land a bow in position. <laughs> so you slide on your knees, <laughs> Elora. Oh my God, we're we're right next to a cow. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're either gonna we be doing? killed by this or whatever. Um, you said it was a. It used to be an animal. He said it, it's an owl bear. It used to be. It used to be just a regular owl bear, but now I think because it was in pieces or some shit, it seems. Different. It's like it's different. It's it's some. It's either enhanced or. Can I attempt a speak with animals? Sure. As we bow. Maybe like we bow and I try to speak with it. I have my little ring of animal influence. Okay. I don't know if animal friendship would do anything here. What do you try to say? You can't turn with a female bear and have sex with it or something? A female Actually, owl bear? Uh, can, you, can you do that? Do I know? <laughs> Would I know if this beast is usually intelligent? Um, is it normally intelligent? Yeah, like... Uh, owl bears have a beast intelligence. So, four or higher? Or no? Uh, normally, yes. Okay. <clears throat> I just, uh, animal friendship only works on like three and lower of... Intelligent animals. Okay. That's why I was looking. All right. Um, I'll bow as well. And well, uh, owl bears usually have intelligence of three. Oh, maybe I should use animal friendship. I think animal friendship sounds appropriate to a bow, like a hippogriff. Mm-hmm. Malfoy right. didn't bow. You know what happened to him? Yeah, All right. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna bow. His parents. 
and use animal friendship with my ring. Okay. Uh, spell that you convince the beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a beast that you see within range. It must see and hear you. Long, uh, if the beast's intelligence four or higher, the spell fails. Otherwise, the beast must succeed a wisdom, wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the spell's duration. If you or one of your companions harm the target, the spell ends. Okay. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna bow. You're there with a great sword right now. Yeah. And using animal friendship, I'll say to the bear, uh, "We mean you no harm." Sure, sure. We mean no harm. Uh, is there anything else I should I'll say to this that's big old owl bear? Powerful and uh, wise. Yeah, that's. I, I like those words. <laughs> <laughs> he's an owl and he's oh, a bear. Wise. Powerful and wise. Powerful owl bear. We mean you no harm. Uh, we we, we, seek we going simply to... attempted to free you of your <laughs> yeah. your uh, entrapment. Perdition. Perdition. Captivity. <clears throat> Captivity. Uh, your words seem to have no effect. Damn. Damn, <laughs> really? I'm still bowing. <laughs> <laughs> it still is frothing at the mouth. Man. Maddened and crazed. Oh, who's, boy. who's turn? Bane! It's mine. Should I bow? I don't know. We all are bowing. <laughs> in for a dime, in for a dollar. Everyone else is bowing right now. <laughs> I'm just saying that the picture had everybody bow. bowing. He jumps over you guys and gets me. <laughs> he won't jump over us. He might. Rick is out to see if he get me. If he jumps over us, he'll jump over you. He's not going to love this. He'll make him hate it. Shane, this action could either, one, save us. Or two, do kill us, kill us. <laughs> we'll blame you either way. <laughs> I'm like, I could try command. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you roll uh, religion? Religion. Roll religion. religion. Who, who has a religion roll? I, I have, have zero. I have, I have three. It's yes, three. Roll religion. Three. That's the same the, the, that the, I have. You're not trained in religion as a paladin? He's three. How? Three oh, is not yeah, trained. He is. he is trained. He's three. What? I'm trained. My training is like... Fives and shit. Well, you're a punk ass bitch. Roll it. Roll it. All right, so that's nineteen plus three. This creature is undead. Undead. Jesus. Oh. You can't oh. command it then, right? You can't command no. undead. No. No. Well, but you have some other options. You're strong against you're undead, undead. Shane. Yeah. What's, the, what's your undead stuff, Shane? You're the one that can save us in this situation. Divine smite. Divine and smite damage. does radiant damage. What's that? Mean? I can basically do a melee attack and roll two d eights, I think, to do uh, to see how much radiant damage I have. <sighs> All right, so okay, so I'm going to attack with my great sword. You got to move within range. Okay, I move within range. Well, so we all bow, and and you're like. There will be no bow. <laughs> I so that you bow and, and, and you take it as a sign to charge. I'm just trying not to. I don't want to be. I don't so, know what's going so on. Here, so I want to solve the puzzle so, so they can get the reward. We, we all bow. Thane runs from behind us and steps away. Yes, I like, like the turtles. Tor yeah. jumps that was up, the plan. Jumps off the whole time <laughs> and it's attacks with his great king. sword. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was the plan the whole time. Like you jumped off him, you jumped off him. I slid into place, you jumped off me. Ah. Yeah. He comes out, I smite thee! This is a problem. Okay, yeah. You got it, Shane? Are you double checking Rick or something? I've just seen how much damage you do. <laughs> I'm just seeing how fucked you are. So you just you gotta do your attack. Yeah. 19! That's good. Plus whatever. Uh, it probably hits. Plus six. Yeah, that hits. So yeah. now you roll your damage. You have your sword damage, and then you also have your divine smite damage. Yeah. Uh. Uh, uh, eight. Well, so no, no, no. Uh, something you have is a D eight, isn't it? Isn't your great sword a D eight? Yeah, but he was doing. I think he was doing his two D six. Well, yeah, but he's got to do all of it. Yeah. So yeah, the two D sixes were eight. You said. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you also have to do your just sword damage then too, right? He should have no. his sword damage, okay. and then he adds his divine smite as well. So what's your divine smite? Two D eight. Okay. okay, so divine smite is two D eight. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, damn, okay, you're going D six forever. Doing. I know there's D eight somewhere. Ooh. So that's another 11. 11. Yeah. 11 in Divine Smite yeah. and 8 in your regular sword attack. Yes. <clears throat> so what's that total? 19. Whatever else you want to add. And it's undead. It is undead. Whatever that does. Yeah, I gotta look. <laughs> <laughs> so our paladin recognizes our foolishness. She our backs. Get 19 points of damage from one hit with radiant <coughs> amazing. I believe it takes a spell slot, right, Rick? It does. Okay. Did it hurt itself at all breaking through the uh, the thing? It did not. It's not dead. It's not dead. 
What? Do zombies hurt themselves when they crawl through shit? Sometimes they yeah, tear they their own heads off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but are they dead? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> they're hindered. I'll tell you what, they'll respect the bow. <laughs> All right, so... Is it damage boosted? Yes, So you have is. your role religion to basically determine... That it was undead. Religion is what you use for knowledge of undead. Okay. So, okay, you were just giving me a hint when you said religion. I thought maybe religion was like a scan. <laughs> A scam? A scan. A scan. Like, well, obviously, oh, you scan, it'll okay. tell you their type, it'll tell yeah. you their weakness. So, kind of, but there are different types of scans. So, nature is a scan for natural yeah. things. Obviously, it wasn't natural. Yeah. A lot of my nature stuff did not turn out too well. Okay. Okay. Uh, arcane, if it's magical, religion, if it's like undead or okay. whatnot. Or unholy. All right. So, yes, yeah, Thane <laughs> leaps over these prostate uh, huh? allies. No, oh, he just went back. Prostrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prostrate. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, jumped up, I jumped up a back and I came down harder, Rick. All right. You did. You dealt a mighty blow. Uh, and now Describe it's going to deal you one, in theory. Oh, How much damage, though? Huh? How much well, damage? We're going to find out. How much damage did you do? Yeah. You did 19 plus more. Do we know how? We're not allowed to know. Oh, he's the M. I got no power. <laughs> <laughs> he's a paladin. He should know. All right. So... It's claw attack hits. Okay. Slam attack misses. Claw attack's the weaker one. Slam. Come on, it's slam. Lucky for you, you take seven points. Okay. Ten. Of uh, slashing damage. Come on, it's slam. Not too bad. Vulcan. All right. Um... Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it's flammable. Hope it's stuffed. So he's not staggered or anything yet, or... Bloodied. Nope. Okay, so if a creature has vulnerability, which <coughs> undead usually does to radiant, it does double. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Is he vulnerable to flame? And so... <laughs> it's dry in there. <laughs> uh, I believe the way it works is the divine smite part of that is the radiant damage, so okay. that's what gets doubled. Okay. But you could just double it all if you want. So, yeah, that's to cover all the tracks. Yeah, just to make sure, just, you don't, don't just double it all so you're not... <coughs> You know, All right, Calvin. Should, should be 30 damage, I think. I want to do Witch Bolt. Okay. Which one? Witch Bolt. So Calvin does Witch Bolt. Yes. Um, I'm casting it as a level 2 spell. So I get uh, 2d12 damage if I hit. Okay. Hopefully I hit. So you, like, let Shane jump off of you and then... <laughs> I, I use a little twig. Oh. Of a tree. It's been. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I want to see the, the, the cape come out, the master up. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. That's a mess. <sighs> He's a large creature. Damn. He's point blank. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gonna miss. Ah. Torque. If I probably do divine smite again. <clears throat> It's pretty effective. Yeah. Uh, I attack! All right. Attack! Okay, so uh, I also... Ooh, rage. Ooh, rage. All right. So I will be using my mighty magic warhammer. Nope. So that is a 20, sir. That hits? Yep. Okay. And then a d8... Plus seven for the first attack. So 12. Okay. Then I go to attack again. That is a 10. That's a miss. So you guys are cutting at his flesh. Uh, you see some like threads that you didn't notice were there before start to come apart. Mm. And his flesh is just sort of falling in lumps. Yeah. He's put together. Remember the pieces that they put together. Mm -hmm. Allure. Can I... Take out the threads. <clears throat> can I attempt to use my thorn whip to, like, rip off an arm? Yeah, it goes... It, like, have it go across the like, threads and then strip. And try yeah. to, like, and take off his arm. The thorns could, like, could, like cut every thread around. If it was in pieces, I'm hoping I can rip it off, and then he can do less damage. Yeah. Like a rope saw. Well, it's claws and what? Slam. 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 Okay. Slam. Well, yeah. All right. Try it. Okay, that's five plus... Uh, 11. 
11? Yeah. Okay. So, you go to whip. He was standing up, but because of this blow, he starts to kneel down, and you miss. Bane. I always blow my load on, like, these powerful creatures. I don't have any more spells for us today. <laughs> it's a problem. Nice. Uh, combat works. I have two spells. Now I have one less. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll talk about doing... Um, uh, channeling divinity and doing abjuring the enemy. Okay. Uh, which will frighten him. Can you frighten the undead? Can you do that? Um, it depends. It depends on no. I don't want to do that. <laughs> well, like, like turn undead will frighten undead. I don't know how abjure enemy works exactly. Can you just turn undead? Or did you already use your, your super special thing for the day? I've never used that. Maybe. It's only one of the ones I selected. In fact, I got one um, more I was supposed to. Yeah, he, like he, cheat. he can get that if he went down the Oath of Devotion. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Okay. All right. Choose okay. one creature within 60 feet. Must make a wisdom so. And dead have disadvantage. Ooh. What is the effect of the spell? On a failed save, the creature is frightened for one minute or until it takes damage. While frightened, the creature's speed is zero and it can't benefit from any bonus of speed. If it succeeds, its speed is halved for a minute. Could try it. Maybe we can set the spear back up. Or I can do Divine Smite again. We have to get... He could do also do Divine Smite. We try to kill it and see what else is in the room. I mean, if anything, we take the copper, sell it to electric guys on the road. <laughs> All, right. All right. Divine Smite. All right. Well, well you're not using Divine Smite yet. Not until you hit. Yeah. If you miss, you don't waste it. Smells like a miss. Still be a no hit. All right. Uh, the owl. Owl. I'm not talk for nothing. Who is not abjured, but is an enemy. Attacks. Objection. We'll do Thane first. Damn it. That's gonna hit. Four. Twelve points of damage. All together? No. Well, then that's one hit. But the other hit is gonna go towards Torque. Okay. Which might hit with a. 20 AC? Yep. Yep. Might? Yeah, might. <laughs> might, might so. miss. Uh, that is going to be 10 points of slashing damage. So you're raging, you take half. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm at 13. Oh, you can back up. Oh, Kim. All right. I'll just blast. Okay. Find, find a new place to roll. Oh, here, man. I'm trying to sell these things. There you go. <laughs> huh? Torque! Okay, yep, attack! Attack! Damn it! What? M miss. But I can add double. No, I'm not too big. You do. Huh? Yes. I got 50% Again. chance of you missing in this game, pretty much. Depends on the enemy. 12. Miss. I didn't hit with a 14. Well, there's like, yeah, less than 50% chance of this. Mm. Hey. No, because right. he's like, well, what are you at? A plus eight? A plus seven. Plus seven? Yeah. Yeah, so what's 15 minus seven? Eight. eight. Yeah, so he needs to roll an eight or higher. So it's a more than 50% chance. I rolled an eight. Slightly. Slightly. <laughs> yeah, plus seven. You need a plus seven. <laughs> All right. It's on Lord's turn. I'm going to go the safe route here. And I'm going to. Surprise, surprise. Raise up some brimstone and some powdered iron, throw it in the air, and cast. Fireball behind the creature here. A flaming yeah. sphere. Yes. Uh -huh. Not a fireball. Gotcha. Flaming sphere. Dude, this face. <laughs> you guys might all be. Um, we need to stay away from it. In an unoccupied space of your choice, any any creature <laughs> will take damage next to it. Yeah. Thus behind it. Driving so, it towards us um, yes, with I'm fervor. <laughs> so the way that this one sets up is five feet sphere. Well, make make dexterity turn, right? saving throw. If it fails <laughs> dexterity saving throw, it still takes half damage. So, at least this way it will take damage okay. next to it each turn. So Yeah, it's push, not going anywhere unless it, it kills push, all of you. If it can't push forward, it's going to keep at least taking damage each turn rather than me having to roll and miss. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. Got him stuck in the doorway. Thane, <coughs> just keep taking, hit, taking hits until the fireball eventually kills him. Um, <laughs> Don't declare Divine Smite until what, after what, you hit. What, what were your guys' health at? Mine's at 25. Mine's at 13. 25. Okay, I lost the thing. Um, let okay. me, on my bonus action, I'll use my bomb on... Thane. Okay. Gives you uh, 11 health. 
So if, if you were to want to just tank, you, you get 11 health. You can, instead of attacking, you can use the dodge action on your turn. Okay. That means until the start of your next turn, any attack roll made against you has a disadvantage if you can see the attacker. And you make dexterity saving throws with advantage. You lose this benefit if you're incapacitated or your speed drops to zero. You can do that in lieu of attack? Yeah. So could I attack and do that because I'm raging? Yes. That's pretty cool. I would okay. love to do that in attack. You don't you get going to attack, yeah. so. You might. Um, probably better if you just Divine Smite it? Or attempt to? Divine Smite will do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So attempt your. But the thing is, with a dodge, you can't fail. <coughs> True. Yeah, because you succeed all saving throws. Just roll it well. Do this for a bit. Apparently that helps. <laughs> and then roll it in the tray, not down the tower. Why not? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. In fact, my good rolls earlier were down the tray. You should do it. Eighteen. That hits. So you hit. Yeah. So let's let's get some damage, so boy. Do your sword damage. Okay. Five and six. Eleven. Eleven. And now do your plus divine. Plus four. So fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen plus yeah. what? And it's these right here. So fifteen. And now the radiant damage. Yeah. Well, hold on, buddy, I'm gonna die. Two and four. So eight. Mm. It's double. No. Twelve. Two and four is six. six, so six twelve. And twelve. Yep. So fifteen and twelve? Alright. It is bloodied. <coughs> and it is its turn. I think I'm doing something now. I think I'm doing something, baby. Dexterity saving throw. I failed. It's gonna take uh five points of damage. A fire damage? Yeah. Okay. Yes, fire damage. Is it radiant fire? It takes double. Yay. All right, you start to smell oh, shit. burning feathers as it strikes oh, against no. Thane with a 16. Jesus. No, yeah, 16 to hit. For AC, zero. which is a 15. 15. So that hits. And you, a 12 to hit, misses. Miss. Okay. Damn. Thane takes 12. Damn. Welcome. I'll just blast. Okay. Come on, Calvin. We believe. How do you want to do it? Do you want to do it this here? <clears throat> do you want to do it there? Last time you did it and it stopped it on your pin. Your I know. Hmm. Natural 20. Hey! He did it! He did it! He bumped it in that. I know. I know. You got a one here with it like, fucking shit! <laughs> 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 I broke the streak. I shut my mouth. Alright, so do max damage and then roll the damage. Okay. Uh, 15. In total? In total. Okay. Is that fire damage? Force damage. So it blows his limbs off. Were you, were you aiming for any stitching? I was aiming for his, for his dick. Knock that off first. Take him down a peg. So, uh, looking at this thing, and I'm seeing it's like coming apart, it's on fire a little bit, like, where's the weakest spots? The most damaged stuff is falling out of its torso, mm. like its guts. Okay, and is it, like, up on its hind legs? Is it still down? It goes up on its hind legs to attack. Okay. Yes. Ow, it goes up Can, on its I'm gonna ask a question, like, it's up on its hind legs, so it doesn't have the stability of the four legs. It's there's fire at its back. Can I try to hit it in a way where I want to push it back against the fire? Sure. Okay. So that's what I want. That's that's the strike in which I'm trying to go. Not this way, left, right, forward, but back. Okay. Uh, seeing that he's on two legs, I'm going to strike. I guess uh, maybe at his knees. All right. Or something like that. You won't do as much damage, but I will say you have a chance to knock him prone. Okay. Right, that is a 15. That hits. All right. Oh, no, wrong one. Can we knock anyone supine? Does that work? <laughs> um, I, I think you use pro as an umbrella term. So that is that means nine. Down. Nine. Damage. Okay. So On the first hit. He'll take a little less, but you can go ahead and roll your fire damage as he falls back onto the fire. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Which is double, right? Yep. That's like seven to so fourteen. Okay. He's cooking. Okay. And then I have a bonus. You can hit him while he's well. down, I'm so you have an advantage because you're striking him while he's prone. Okay. 
All right, that one is a natural 20. Okay. Roll again. So you do max damage. 12. <laughs> so max damage for me is 8 plus 7. Okay, so 15, and then roll it. And then roll the, the d8 again? Yep. Uh, 6. So 21. Ooh, 21. Wait, 6. Right? Yeah. No, 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 What'd you roll? No, 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 a d8. What's your plus? Um... It's a six plus Does seven. Does he add the plus again? No, I don't add, add the plus, plus again. Okay. Yeah. No, he just gets the dice again. Oh, okay. So it's max dice plus. Okay. Okay. Um, very close. Not quite. Allure. It's, is it prone in the fire? or yeah. just Okay. So does it take damage every turn? or It will on its turn. It always turn. takes damage every turn. But it um, took extra damage because you knocked it into it. I'm not going to use any uh, of my spells. Spells. I want to save him if he's looking as bad as he is. I already have a fireball there. Scimitar? I will, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm back there, though. I don't know if I can get yeah. up there, really. Mm, I'm behind probably. everyone else, so I might just do my thorn whip again. It has a 30-foot 30 re- 30 range. Okay. Don't pull it from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Try the thorn whip when it's, uh, it's like, stuffing it Takes one d 6 damage. Yeah. Um, do I have to pull it? If the creature is large or smaller... 1d6 could you, be enough to kill you it. You can pull the creature 10 feet closer, so... You hit? 18... No, he does 1d6 plus 4. You need 3. 6. Right. He's dead. Yeah! So, uh, your thorn whip gets one of his threads, and you just pull, and you just keep pulling the thread, and eventually he's just in pieces. Is he All still right. biting? Hmm? Is no. he still like a zombie head? <coughs> nope. He is dead. Aww. All right. Everyone bow to it. Be great to have him. It's like a cartoon when... And then Shane jumps off again and kicks his head. <laughs> so there are seven spears in that room. Yes. They have silver blades. Ooh. I definitely want me one of them. I would like to throw my... All right, so seven of, of them? Money. Yep, seven spears with silver blades. Okay. Um, Do we want to divvy them out or someone some grab them all? Well, I don't think one person can carry all of them. Um, well, we should just put them in a pile by the door. Spears are based on dexterity, right? Well, I was thinking, do you guys want to take so. the spears or take just the silver heads? I believe I was looking at a spear until I found a Calvinite spear, and I was like, well, I want some different. <laughs> I can carry yeah. five javelins. I can carry... Can we, we just have a spear anymore? We, we could just take the heads yeah, off. Spear. Right? Well, well I guess I just wonder how powerful these weapons are. Well, so so the big thing about a spear is it has reach. Yeah. Right? So you don't have to be next to it. Um, as far as damage goes, it does a d6 piercing. Um a javelin. So it still uses strength. Oh, does it? Yeah. What's the advantage but, of... But it's thrown and versatile. So... What's the advantage of it being silver? Is it just its value? Uh, some creatures take extra damage to silver. Okay. It's also more valuable. Yeah. Yeah. And So 1d6, you said? It does a d6 piercing. Okay. It can be thrown. It's a type of damage. It's also versatile. So if you use it with a shield, if you use it one-handed, it's a d6. If you use it two-handed, it's a d8. So it's similar to the javelin and everything except for... And it also has reach. Uh, the, the D8 thing to one hand. Yeah. Well, can you fight melee with javelins? Mm. I think, you, I think oh, javelins uh, are only javelins throwing, like right? Javelins like a spear. What's attack um, bonus? Javelins... Oh. It's, a, it's a D6. Okay. Unless you use a two hand, which is a D8. Okay. Well, the, the attack bonus is... Do they have a melee attack? Yeah. It's yeah, the same okay. as... The javelin, right? Yeah. Yeah. They don't so have D6 reach, or... right? No. Yeah. Javelins don't have reach. And so D6 is the, the thing. Two-handed. It's a bit plus six. No. Okay. Yeah. There, that's the, the difference between the javelin and the spear is the reach mm-hmm. and the two-handed bonus. The spears yeah. are also heavier. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just going to say we could just take the heads off and not actually have the spears, but just because of the value. But I guess they're, uh, they're more akin to a glaive than a spear, really. Oh, okay. So a glaive does a D10 slashing. D10? Yeah. And it has reach. Is that a one-handed versatile two-handed or only no? Two-handed? Can only be two-handed. Okay. Make your switch. Mm. You got the. Great I mean, it would give you range, and it's pretty much the same as that. Well, right? it's great sword gives him a plus one to attack, I think. But I think that's it, right? I think so. Because he got a magical great sword or whatever. And his damage would be higher. Like with with the glaive, he could roll a one. With that, the minimum he could roll is a two because he has two dice. And he can go up to a twelve instead of just a ten. You can also carry a spear and have a sword and a spear and uh, yeah, you can just carry it. A sword, yeah. uh, shield, I mean, you know, so you can have better AC I don't and, have a sh- and range. Well, the the glaive is two handed only as well, so he wow. still couldn't use it's a shield. Only two handed. Yeah. No, I thought you said okay. no. The spear was one handed. He's oh, like okay. more of like a glaive. Yeah, 
If you're going with two handed, the great sword's probably better overall. Because of the two D sixes, you can potentially get twelve, you get no less than two. Whereas the glaive is no more than ten. Yeah. No. Yeah. The big advantage yeah. is the reach. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the idea of attacking from afar. I don't like my character would do that. Okay. You shoot with the crossbow all the time. Very no, very rarely. Yes. <laughs> very rarely. Very rarely. Alright. So you check out that room? Very well. What else is in the room? Scarecrows. Why is it so dry? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it's, he said like it's I, I, like weirdly it's dry compared to the other rooms which are wet. There's a yep. magical seal oh, preserving yeah, the was, animal problem. Yeah, it was magical. So the room was once magically sealed. It is no longer. Mm-hmm. And that is the only other notable fact about the room. Okay. Okay. You can take some owlbear feathers as components. I will do that. I will do that. What are you using? I just like the hat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got necklace. I got my Mercury Fang necklace. Take some, take some Albert Claus. All right, so where would you like to go now? We need to change this. Eat a good berry. He's at 12. Well, out of combat, we can rest for like, what is it? 30 minutes. 30 minutes and do like a hit die? Short rest or whatever? You can, yeah, you can spend hit dice. We could do that. I don't know who all needs a hit I'm die. I'm at 25 of 36, so I could use it. And Shane definitely could use it. I don't need to use any. I didn't get hit. So we want to do that? Yeah, sure. It will guarantee. I, I can't remember if I used an animal spell before or not, but it will also guarantee I get my two animals. Okay, spells. let's do that. So, so a 30 minute rest <laughs> okay. uh, around the corpse of the owlbear. Um, and I, do we all, they, do we want at least just take the, the spears or the glaives, or do we want to remove the heads so we can have either the value slash have silver later, you know? If there's no hindrance in carrying the glaives and splitting those up, let's just take the glaives okay. as a whole for right now. All right, so there were made... seven total? Seven. They may be worth more whole than, than like the heads of them, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Uh, if there's no hindrance, I'll carry two. Okay. I'll take one, I suppose, for now. I'll take one or two or whatever. Let's see. Yeah, the only other thing is if it's strength based, small creatures have disadvantage when attacking with them. Well, none of us are small. But none of you are small. He's small. None of us are small. He's medium. Oh, he's small. He's medium. Quite large for a dwarf, actually. I was made fun of for being fat as a child. I don't, I, I'm still fat. You feel down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys all healed up. Uh, yeah. So it's a hit die, which is a D twelve. Ten. I will spin one, which gives me an eleven. Nice. So I, that's exactly what I need to get back to max. Perfect. That Great. happened to me last time. I did. I didn't end up mattering, but that happened to me last time. D10, use one. Ten. Ten. Good job. I thought it was zero. <laughs> so you're at 22. So I'm down to three. Can you use as many hit dice as you want, or is it one per half hour? No, you rest. can use as many as you want. You just you don't regain them until you sleep. Yeah. Did so you, you want, could use another. Do you want to do it again? Or... And then I'll have two. Yeah. I don't know how often we'll be resting today, you know? So... Or how often we'll be fighting a thing like an owlbear. And then uh, five. Yeah. 27. 27. That's not too bad. All right, we have rested. All right. I don't need to eat, and I'm oh. upset by it. Do you add your constitution? You do. Yeah, you should add your constitution. Or subtract. Which Wait, what? Maybe. Is you use two dice, so that's plus four. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't, have, doesn't matter because I got It doesn't matter else, to you either. I didn't know that. So I would have... Gotten eleven plus two. Yeah. yeah, can't go over your max. Gotcha. 30, I can't have like temporary health. Thirty. Parts. Thirty-one. <laughs> um, like some potions can give you that sort of thing, but hmm. and some effects. Thirty-one. Of okay. Attacks. Good. Can you guys ready to go down the stairs? Yes. I believe so. All right. Sure, I guess. I'll use one of my three rages. So we're going Ooh. across the uh, yeah through here and then down the stairs. Yep. Cautiously. So yeah, yeah this so is the, the room folk were there. Uh, where they were. Cooking the meat. Yep. And then just past that are some stairs that go down. Yep. A pair of embossed copper doors stand open here, the muddy stream winding its way between them and down the steps. From below comes the sound of running water and a slow, heavy drumming. The doors are embossed with a series of glyphs. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, druidic glyphs? I look at the glyphs. Do I understand? History would be appropriate. Um, I have a plus two in history. We can all of us can do it, right? I have a plus one. Can I it, just D twenty? Read it. If you have deci- decipher script, or I what? have eyes of the room keeper. Uh, I can twenty, read Rick. All writing. Okay. He can do it. I got twenty. Nine. 
Uh, 18 plus 2. I got a 21. Oh. The glyphs 18 plus 3. Tell the story of a barbarian king being prepared for 18. rebirth, his attendants being ritually sacrificed so that they might follow him into the afterlife. The last scene shows the king standing in a ring of lightning, a mighty sword held high. Mm. So is this the sword that was recast into the two giant spear things that the brothers had? <laughs> All right, the stairs continue down. The stairs from the upper level end at a pair of locked copper doors. A small muddy tunnel has been dug into the wall adjacent to the doors. The drumming is louder here. <clears throat> Proceed with caution is what you're saying. To the lock. So at this point we come to... Well, there are some locked... There's a pair of locked copper doors here. Mm. Or there seems to have been like a tunnel that was dug this way. Probably lizard folky. And the drumming is louder through there. Yep. And the air is fouler that way as well. Indeed. And it smells of elderberries. We should order food. Eric doesn't we need can't to order eat food like, down here. Yeah. We're in the middle of this place. Right. Hulk doesn't need to eat for another week. Yeah, it should be a waste. I'm oh, sorry. I hope it's not. It's a matter of like I don't need to eat. Not that I can't eat. <laughs> I, might, I might be playing to make it that way. I think I'm gonna play it that way. You don't way. need to. You might not have the the, the urge. The physical, I'm torque. The physical. He's enjoy. He enjoys it. It'd be great if we're all like eating sausage. You, you like stuff. what it does for you when you eat it. The You're hormones. crying. Yeah, he enjoys it. All right, so it's gonna frustrate him. Um, I'll play it for kicks. Perhaps we should take the tunnel. Uh, the I don't quite like small. Uh, confined places, especially when lizards can bite my face, not knowing what's in there. I will not go first. It could also be a trap. True. It is a dirt tunnel that could be collapsed if they. I know that kind of goes against uh, being... me growing up in a mine, but I'll tell you what, I don't like it. <laughs> it's like well, sand. I mean, it actually Dang. makes sense for yeah. you because you would be. Inherently distrustful of something mm. that was unsafe in a mine. I might be on my knees <laughs> like that. <laughs> You're born in the dark. Let's see, the door is locked. <coughs> I'll take a look at the door. I'm gonna, I want to investigate this door. Okay, I'm investigate like the door. Traps and stuff. Okay. Okay, so 14. Doesn't appear to be trapped. Okay, but it is locked. It is locked. Can I detect magic? You don't see any magic. <coughs> Can I tell if the door can be burst open? So you can tell, it feels like something is piled behind the door. Mm. So well, the talk, I believe we have to go through the tunnel. Who's <sighs> your miss? <sighs> I don't know what's on there, and I'll be stuck on the other side. Let's do it real quick and then miss back. <laughs> All right, well, Time. who goes first? Talk. <laughs> All right. Paper, <laughs> Oh, you lose! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I don't make scissors. I pull out of my cloak. <laughs> Very well, I'll lead. You want to turn into an animal and do it? Uh, that could be cool. Know. Perhaps an animal that can burrow. Like a burrow. snake? That can burrow. Like a, like a In snake. case they collapse it on you. An armadillo? In this world, you'd be mistrustful of everything and everybody. Like, you can like roll up and they try to bite them. and they break your teeth. Well, it, it's like Tomb Raider, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the world isn't necessarily, but when you go into like a tomb mm. or a dungeon, yeah. then you're on guard. On guard. <coughs> I guess. Yeah, if you're just walking on the street, I would think that bird could be a person. It's like when you're playing Zelda. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> What's the music sound like? That's how I know if I'm in danger. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if we're here, it's going. Bah, nah, well, bah, right now you just hear bah, drumming. Bah, bah. Yeah, there's so, drums. Yeah, there's, there's it's drums. combat music. Drums, drums in the tomb. It sounds almost like this place has a heartbeat. Mm. <laughs> and we are its white blood cells. <laughs> How quickly can I transform? Like, I think it's like in a movement. It's like poof! Like yeah. that. Because it's a bonus action, so I was like. If things started to collapse, could I transform as things are collapsing? Yeah. Uh, probably. You can take a little mouse. Mouse can save. get into... Maybe you can do that and do some recon. I should have done that on the last one. Yeah. Whenever that was collapsing, I should have turned into something. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> right. Keep that in mind. I didn't think about that until now. All right. Well, I'll begin leading through... Um, as a what? As, as Elor for now. Oh, okay. All right. I'll wait. And... All right. Uh, so are you going in and scouting and coming back, or are you all going in a line? I'll see I how deep he gets. Yet. It's a she thing. 
I don't know what they're doing. I guess I'm going looking. I'm guarding. I'll, the I'll find out when things are nothing, right. when there's nothing behind I'm me. I guess they're all going in. I'm, I'm guarding. Can you see in the dark? I do have dark vision. Yes. Roll perception. Eighteen plus. Nice. All right. So <laughs> you <laughs> see it before it happens. Good. So there's uh, this is like a tunnel. There's a lot of mud here. There's a lot of rocks, rubble, and debris. Uh, at first, you think you just see some mud, mm -hmm. but you realize the mud is moving and it's trying to coil around you. And you follow it and see a snake. Uh, a giant, like a snake. big snake, like a like a bas uh, the basilisk. The basilisk. Hmm. This is a huge snake. Basilisk. Snake like uh, I can be. Boys. <laughs> I'm back. There's a snake in Roll here. Roll Do you want to back out? Can I uh, can I attempt animal friendship? <laughs> Does he understand English? Or basic? This does seem common, to be whatever. a snake. <laughs> uh, what does intelligence need to be? Three. Four, two, one, two, three. Can't be four. Intelligence right. is a one. Ooh. Can I roll Ooh. persuasion? So it's possible. No. Um, no, no I still need initiative though. 16. 16. But I'm... Behind, I'm in the back. 16 plus 4 is 20. Okay. Six. 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 Damn it, I didn't get my water. 14. Uh, Allura's first. All right. <laughs> I will attempt my animal friendship with this creature. All right, it has to roll a save. Um, it will have to roll a save, I do believe. It was a... Dude, turn it to, our, turn to our side and it can be our scout. It fails. Yes. <clears throat> right, I put my hand out. And attempt to calm it as well. So you you playing a? I'm waving my hand kind of back and forth as we like charming it. As I try to communicate with it and calm it down. So what's the effect? Um, it's our ally now. Simply, the spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Okay. Choose a beast that you can see within range. So it simply knows that we mean it no harm. But it can still be hungry. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna say it might reinforce him wanting to kill us. But isn't it like charmed and stuff? Can't you charm it? They want to have a flute. <laughs> the thing that they do in the Middle East. The point. I, I bring I out a good berry. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, and I also said it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, it's still gonna eat you. It's still gonna eat me. Yeah. It's hungry. Damn it, Rick. Sorry. Right. It's gonna try. Um. Have a bunch what's of the point of the spell then? I have a bunch of javelins. Well, the point of the spell is like. Something that isn't hostile, I it's think. Afraid of you. Is, yeah. He's yeah. like a fear biter or something yeah, like that. Yeah, if he's that. hungry, and then he finds out that you're not threatening, it's gonna he, make it worse. Does anyone have any food? Look, look, like food. I don't need any of mine! Well, you have meat. I have burnt... I got everything! I, I have burnt owlbear Whatever stuff. you want, I got everything. Turn into a ferret. I'm dead. No! Terrible <laughs> idea. Like Ferrets if, if you're trying snakes. to tame a horse or something, like it could yeah, be useful. Yeah. I literally eat all of my food I don't need. Five days. <clears throat> if if, if Torque throws me some of his like food, can I feed it and calm it down, or does it want live food? Probably wants live food. I mean, I got that too. He's like an unseen hand. <laughs> what? Look like I got some squirrels. <laughs> so you can tell that it's a constrictor. Ah, uh, it does like its food dead. All right. If I turn into a constrictor. <laughs> but what kind of snake is this, man? I want to be able to turn into this. Can you turn into a female snake and fuck it? <laughs> While we walk go past a female. What? So I'm just like. All right, boys, you get out of here. It, <laughs> I'll take one for the team. That's it, what we suggested with the owl bear. We didn't think it was a bad idea. It's a giant constrictor. It's hungry, snake. not thirsty. <laughs> it's a challenge rating two. Ooh, damn. Damn, Rick. I can't do twos yet. That'd be cool if I just turned into it. We just had a kaiju fight. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn into a constrictor, but not a giant constrictor. A snake like I could be. Oh, All right. Me. <laughs> Does the ring take an action? I imagine. It's probably the same. I just imagine right? turning his neck. That's the hook comes out. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, I use my action. Um, Do you want the food or no? Do you want to tell them that there's a snake? S snake. Snake. <laughs> maybe, snake. Maybe I pull back. Okay. Can you I pull back? Yeah. All right. You still have movement. I don't know how far back. Sounds like steak. He comes all the way up. Hey, look at that. He's safe. I'll just What's come back. reach? I don't know. Yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> uh, Actually, no. You will take an opportunity attack. Oh, damn. With its bite. Ah. I'll, I'll stay there. Okay. There's a snake, fellas. Anyone? I run to the front saying, Hello? Snake, where? Torque is next. All right. Um, I ain't going in. Because huh? I'm scared of these things, and now I know there's a snake here. However, can I... At all reach and grab him. If it, is he that? Is he close enough for me to grab his foot? 
pull him out. Uh, you'd have to move one space forward. I would. Uh, can I do that? Grab him and bring him back out. Just turn to a monk. And then use my. Yeah, can I do that. Uh, well, you can try and distract the snake while he moves away. He ain't taking so any damage. Bang on the door. Opportunity attack. I haven't yet. No. Bang on the door and distract the snake. So Bang if you on. if you want to try to find a way to distract the snake so he can leave. He's gonna have to crawl. Can you turn into a natural predator of a snake? He, even if it's smaller, it's a giant. It still might be afraid. Weasel. I oh, well, like a mongoose. Afraid of weasels. Like oh yeah, they're super afraid of weasels. I don't yeah, have a mongoose. I don't, I don't have a mongoose. I don't know if a mongoose, mongoose is a creature. Is a the... part of the weasel family, isn't it? I don't. I don't know. If, I mean, oh, can no. I turn to a giant mongoose? <laughs> you turn to a weasel. It might not know the difference. Do you want me to pull you out, or do you want me to ready an attack for? I mean, it's when like it comes a, I'm it's gonna like get a mouse. Can turn into a medium-sized uh, weasel. Well, you should come in here and get ready to attack it from in here. Tor- I'm not Tor- 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 What? We're not crawling, are we? With we're a crawling. hammer. Uh, he, here it's thin, but once you get past there, it's a wide open. All right. Tavern. Okay. I was like, I didn't know I was crawling. So, do I hear cries for help? Snake. Help, snake, or run away. I don't think snake means no help. Snake means... almost always means get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. Do you ask for help? I'll come if you ask. Yes, boys. Tork faces his fear of tiny spaces. Runs in. You worked in a mine. A mine. He a, a, a mine. A mine. <laughs> he, this is why I'm afraid of it. All right. But he, but he's more brave. He comes in. Come in next to me and ready to attack. But when he grabs me, you can hit him. Well, yeah, okay. So if you if you go in next to it, it's going to get an opportunity attack because you're moving within its reach. Yeah. But he can come in and ready an attack. You can come in and stand range. next to him, yeah. Yeah. And try to hit him. How so big? when it strikes at him, just swing. Looking at it, how big is it? Long. It's like 50 feet long. 50 feet long. Yeah. So it's like this thing. And like, can come in. like this. Okay. <laughs> so all my experience, experience with snakes on the farm. It's like the snake from Conan, yeah. It's completely I've never seen it. Is it like the snake from Anaconda? You never really get a good look at it, do you? I don't want to be John Void. Void, okay? It's got to be pretty big. Uh, it can definitely eat you. Oh, damn. But it's not like Aladdin. It doesn't even have to unhinge its jaw to eat you. <laughs> can I? Except that was like more of a viper, wasn't it? But can I hurt Yeah, that was a pit viper. Not Kevin a Sorbo, like the Hydra. Maybe. Or hurt the coming to the... Uh, or, or Tommy Jones! I mean, yeah. if, if, before it eats you, it's going to try and break all of the bones in your body. Well, Jesus, Rick. Uh, so from here, you can stab it with a glaive. Yeah. From there, I stab it with the glaive. <laughs> which is a plus six attack bonus. This would be the same as everything else. <coughs> yeah. Huzzah! Huzzah! Damn, damn. Huzzah! And it's a silver glaive, too. It's true. Which is gonna, it's gonna it's like three times as much damage. <laughs> I dropped it. I looked down. It's a three. I'm like, oh. so I'm actually gonna. Roll. That one is a twelve plus six, eighteen. That hits. It's funny if it was a two. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the glaive is uh, a D ten. D ten plus anything. Uh, plus whatever your normal pluses are. Are all my pluses always the same? As long as you're using strength. Yes. So they're all plus sevens. As long as you're using strength. Okay. I think your hammer, because it's the... It's the magic it's one. It's the magic okay. one. So they're all plus six. That one's only a plus one. Yep. Plus seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. So D10. Plus six. One. So seven. <laughs> okay. But I also get other... Because I'm, I'm definitely raging at this point. So you did seven? Seven damage. Okay. All right. Give me your rage. 16. That hits. <clears throat> 3 plus 6. 9. 9. 3, 6, 9. Alright. By the snake. Damn, she's fine. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Where did I attack it at? I would like to have gone for its eyes or its tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so it can't smell. Well, I mean, those are vulnerable parts on it. It could flee. It's true. Or it definitely now jaw. It definitely also remembers that we mean it no harm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. I mean, I if it damages a tongue, harm. it loses a major sense. It's more likely to leave. Um, eyes less so, but the tongue definitely. Well, it will stay if it can't see. It will leave if it can't taste. Tongue is very important to a snake. Yeah, that's how it sees. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> its eyes kind of suck. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's going to try and constrict the raging barbarian. Okay. It's a strength check. Right? Natural 20! No, it's an attack. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, it will attack you and then put you in a grapple, and then you can strength out of it, I believe. 
Yeah. Potentially. Which you get pluses. What's your strength? And three rolls. And advantage. Uh, plus four. Ooh. So crits are max damage plus, right? I don't know. It's pretty good. You're the guy that knows what you're doing, and I can't see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're raging. So, 31 bludgeoning damage. So you take 15. Jesus. Okay. Jeez. I rolled natural 20. All right. So you're grappled. Escape is DC 16. So it's a strength saving throw, DC 16. Until the grapple ends, the creature is restrained, and the snake cannot constrict another target. Okay. But so you guys just gotta bite. So that's nice. All right, so what do I need to do? Uh, on your turn, you will need to try and free yourself, and you gotcha. need to roll a 16 or higher. You need to s- add your strength saving throw and get up to a 16 or higher. Yeah, just say, get a roll of 16. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Vulcan. Vulcan. Okay. You're not in the room. But my attacks did no damage, like I said, when I was trying to go for eyes or tongue, nothing to that. You did damage to it, but it's not low enough in hit points that it's considering fleeing yet. Okay. There's only two of you that it knows of. I hate snakes. It's also busy. Um, I don't really love snakes. These are no Nazis. I hate worse. Nazis are snakes. Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's. <laughs> Can I move in? Like, yeah. you get behind Elor. Yeah. Can we... That's what I want to do. We, we need to get me a, like, a circle to stand on. Okay. <laughs> it's your heavy cape. Well, I mean, I need a circle to stand on. All right, what do you do? Ever use you see torque. Huh? Ra- oh, actually, you don't see torque. You see a coil with a <laughs> hammer sticking out of the top. <laughs> hammer sticking out of the top. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I'm just going to do Eldritch Blast. Okay. Ten. Missed. Not by much. <laughs> well, that's comforting. <laughs> torque. You want to try to get out, I assume? Yep. Okay. Roll a strength saving throw. So that's what, a d20? Mm-hmm. Let me see that. And then I add four to it, because that's my strength modifier. And I'll your, look at your, your strength saves. Uh, just above your skill checks. Your saving throws. Plus five. Yeah. So it's a d20 plus five? Yep. Fourteen. That's not enough. Okay. So you are restrained. Does Rage get him two of those or no? I wasn't no. Sure. no. I don't think it's, so. Uh, it says I have advantage on strength check. Then yes, you do. <laughs> you get to roll twice. Uh, 11 plus 5, 15. Or 16, 16 sorry. 16. 16 is enough. So you break out. Okay. Break out. It's still your turn. Okay. Um, You're next to it now. Yes, I'm next to it. How close am I to its head? That's is he still on this out. side, or is he on? Like, does it move him at all or anything, or is he still where he was? You can choose. Where do you want to come out? If you choose the other side, it might give flanking opportunities. Well, in fifth edition, as long as you're as there's two characters adjacent to it, yeah. it's flanking. You, you don't, don't have, have to. Be all right, so sides I bust out yeah. on the other side, right? So I do that. Do you want to be on the other side? Okay. But I would. The way I would try to bust out is so that I'm. Trying to wrap my arms around its neck, and I want to constrict it. You want to just squeeze you like the air out of it? constrictor snake? Yes, Torque is mad. <sighs> With my magic hammer, like doing this, I'm gonna constrict it on and try to crush its windpipe. All right. So if you're able to make multiple attacks with the attack action, this attack replaces one of them. Um, the target you're trying to grapple must be no longer <laughs> than one size larger than you. So I can't do it. Must be within your reach. It's what it's, size is it? It's large. He said it's fifty feet. Yeah, but but it's how is it? He uh, said it's like giant. around this, which I could put my arms around, especially with the hammer. Yeah. yeah Actually, it, I could do with my hand axe it, and cut it into. Its it. classification is huge. Okay, so you can't. So I cannot do that. No, you're that's, medium. That's three sizes bigger than you, I think. No, it's, no, it's like medium, large, and huge, right? Medium, large, giant, and huge, right? I thought giant was after huge. I forget. Uh, I, I don't I, think I there know. is a giant. Is there not a giant? I think so. I think there's huge and then like gargantuan. Yeah, gargantuan. Okay. All right. But so basically, I, like the four is the one size. So I can't large, constrict it. And the medium is just another one. It's too big. You can't constrict right. the constrictor. Now, you used one action in order to break free. So you have another action. Okay. Um, trusty Warhammer. So that's a 13 plus 7. Very trusty. That hits. 
point of hit. And then D8, 3 plus 7, 10. Maybe these are just the random things leading the way to the thing that we gotta fight. Yep. Okay. Back to Elor. And then we gotta carry that giant fucking skull. Well, never use this, I wanna use this. I reach into my my bag. I think I can scoot up a little bit without getting opportunity deck. So, um, I'll come up to fight it. Okay. I'm gonna reach in and pull out a leaf. And in my Make hand, some tea. Razor leaf. appears a fiery blade. Okay. Ooh. And I'm going to attack it with my flame blade that I have here. Just like mm. a black. Um, basically, I'm just evoking a fiery scimitar. Okay. Which replaces my Regular normal scimitar. scimitar. So, it also is fiery, so you shouldn't need dark vision. And if it only likes light or dark, maybe this will help. Like, ah. Okay. 18. That hits. So, it's going to do 3d6, 4, 2, 6. So 12, uh, 16. 16 fire damage? Yeah. Okay. It sheds bright light in a 10 foot radius and dim light in an additional 10 feet. Okay. Be great considering that the snake is a cold blooded creature, it's going to be messing with its blood flow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, it's trying, trying to be to... increasing it. <laughs> it's going to it's constrict a... Elora in order to stay warm. It's getting shock. All right, Torque, it's your turn. Too bad it's not a pit viper. It'd be throwing its um, senses off. Well, well, you you can tell that, huh? What's Shane? Whose turn? Torque just. I oh, just went. Thane. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You just gave me last time. There's a reason. Thane. Yeah, Thane hasn't gone at all. Yeah. You're right. Well, right, Thane. I just assumed I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll oh, just stay out here. <laughs> what? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I'm not within range, but can I? Can I hit him with the silver spear? You can move it. Not from there. Yeah. So you yeah, move up. There. And considering he readied himself last turn, I don't know. Um, you can go twice. He gets to go twice. Okay. So am I just within spear range? Or am I yes, within you're range? just within spear range. Okay. Unless well, you move again. That'll be too close. <laughs> too close. Okay. I want to use the spear. Okay. Okay, the silver spear. Yep. Which is like the glaive. It's a glaive. The glaive. Yep. Go for it. Uh, 17 plus uh, 6, yeah. Yep. So a D10. And it's a D10. It's edge. It's edged. I would go with seven. And just re-roll it. I would honestly go with I three. I would go with seven. I would go with three. I would go with seven. <laughs> Dude, I would have went with seven. Because it's one. One. Plus? Six. Six. So seven. total of seven. Yeah. Okay. Attack again. Okay. And uh, we're going to do it again. Yep. Same. Jesus! <laughs> she see that shit? It's rolled on 20 and went to 2. So what's the total? Uh, 7. No. Um, it's a 2 plus, it's 8. That's a miss. Okay. Okay. Snake. Hmm. Snake would like to run. Running is tough for Snake. Because he has no she legs. Because he was cursed. And because uh, we're close. He was cursed to crawl on the earth. Because we're close, we would get opportunity hits, right? Yeah, if it runs, you do. I don't think... Alright, so. Sounds like it hesitates. Snake can turn. go. I waste my fire blade for nothing! Let's see. Good thing I didn't use Divine Smite. I was thinking so about Snake it. can go here, and then Snake is gonna move. You get an opportunity attack because you have your spear. Okay. So, another attack. Oh, thank God. He, he just attacks, right? Or does, yeah. He doesn't have to try to. Does he have to. He just attacks. Okay. Yeah. Well, he still has to hit. Yeah, roll your attack. Okay, that's why I got it. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, attack is always a 20. natural 20. Natural right. 20. So 10 plus... <laughs> 10 plus 6. So 16, and then roll a d10. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. 10. So 26. That so a hell of it, a blow. <laughs> it goes, it starts to slink away. Thane jumps forward, stabs the glaive into its skull. Yes, the two great things. Its tail starts whipping around. In a frenzy, <laughs> you guys are ducking and dodging out of the way. Eventually, duck dodge. <laughs> eventually, the whipping ends and it is still. I want one of its fangs, in case we come across a horcrux. Yeah, <laughs> you can take a fang. <laughs> it's got I'm no poison. I'm gonna memorize this. This snake. Hello, will remember this. <laughs> oh, you can you can remember the snake. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I have to learn them, but I can't turn into some things because they're too strong. 
But as I get stronger, I can turn into things. Oh, okay. so you can remember it, and then when you get stronger, you can turn into it. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, looks like Aaron. Okay. Looks like Aaron. Um, That's a figure of a naga, which is like a sentient snake, but it was not a sentient snake. Gotcha. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys check out patreon.com slash blindway where you can see the next episode right now. And be sure to leave some comments down below in the description of this video and let us know what your thoughts are on the campaign.